Well, it's your first day here in Iceland. <coughs> uh, I arrived quite late last night and got checked into the hospital until 10 o'clock. And we're up quite sharp this morning, back on the road. <coughs> we're heading along Route 1, heading south-east um, to Schlangerfoss, their first stop for today. An iconic waterfall, um, so we're looking forward to getting out. Weather's not really that great, pretty windy and overcast. But we'll see how we go on. After an hour's drive along Route 1, you reach Solangerfoss, a huge waterfall. As you can see, it is a tourist hotspot, which makes photography quite difficult. I spent most of my time moving my tripod out the road of tourists and dodging in and out of people. <laughs> I would probably suggest coming here for sunrise or sunset, um, where there's not as many people about. We didn't spend much time here, around 20 minutes or so, um, and I wasn't that pleased with the pictures that I got here. I took some video footage um, for this video, and I'll post the pictures anyway, but as I said, I'd rather come back at sunset or sunrise to get some decent pictures and some decent light. We decided to continue along Route 1 towards our destination, which was Hoffen. We had planned to stop off at Skogafoss Waterfall and the DC-10 plane wreck, but as you can see from the footage, the weather was absolutely horrendous. So we decided to just keep making progress and get to our destination, Hoffen. Well, that's us arrived at Hoffen. That's what car there we've hired. And this is our apartment for the next two days. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but I'll show you back outside. The weather is absolutely dreadful. <laughs> it is wild. <coughs> We're all a bit gutted because Northern Lights have to be out at KP5 tonight. So we're guaranteed to see them. But the weather's not to change, it's to be heavy rain for the next three days. Oh, gutted is an understatement. But anyway, we're going to get out and about tomorrow. We're here, on an Iceland, we're in another country. Chins are up. <laughs> get out and get some moody, moody shorts tomorrow. Just to show I'm making a dinner. And the rest of the boys in here, hiding. Try to tune the TV. Try to tune the TV, which actually doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in here for the next two days. TV doesn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're all still laughing. Sean the Master Chef there, lovely. We're all in the water tonight, shaking the beer. <laughs> Cheers, boys, boys. Well, it's next morning. <coughs> and the rain is battering against the window and the high winds. <laughs> There's no sunrise at all this morning, we shut our alarms and got up. But we're going to head out anyway, we're going to head back to Diamond Beach <coughs> Try to see if we can get some black and white midday shots <coughs> We ventured out into the wet and wild weather and headed back along Route 1 About an hour and a half drive we arrived at Black Diamond Beach which sits at the foot of Joe Cullerslund Glacier Excuse my pronunciation of that, <laughs> it's probably wrong. But as you can see from the footage, it was atrocious the weather, um, very very windy, impossible to take any pictures um, without all your equipment getting saturated in rain. We went between the car and the coffee shop that was there and we sat about for about two hours. Fingers crossed the weather was going to clear but it didn't. At one point I actually had my camera rain cover out and it was even impossible to use that. The rain was so heavy I couldn't focus, couldn't see through the back of the clear section in the, the rain cover. So we gave up and decided to head back to Hoffen, hoping the weather would maybe break or clear. We turned on the radio to lift our spirits 
and this fitting track by KC and the Sunshine Band, Give It Up, was playing. Not sure if it was a sign or not to us, but we had a good laugh at it anyway. Well, we've just <coughs> arrived at Stockness. We came down earlier, but the weather was just absolutely wild. We've got a tiny garden with the rain at the moment, so we're all buzzing. First time the rain stopped since we've been here. Um, we're going to get down and hopefully get a quick picture before the cloud comes in and covers the mountains. But wow, this place is absolutely incredible. Check this out. What I was basically saying here was the full trip was worthwhile just getting that one hour uh, window of opportunity to photograph the Vestalhorn Mountains made the full trip worthwhile It was taking 5 second exposures which was enough time um, to allow the waves to retreat back out to the Atlantic Ocean and create amazing contrast and leading lines right out to Vestalhorn Mountain Range in the distance We were all absolutely buzzing that we got the opportunity to photograph this location and these pictures turned out to be some of my all-time favourite pictures that I've ever taken. We ran around like madmen, trying to capture as many images as possible before the rain came back on. Conditions very challenging at times, as you can see, up to our knees in ice-cold Atlantic water. It seemed as if photographers popped up from everywhere when the rain stopped. <laughs> I suppose they were just out like us, absolutely buzzing to get the opportunity to photograph this very unique and inspiring landscape. I'm already planning a second trip this year to go back to this location and I cannot wait. It's at the top of my bucket list to try and get some star shots here, so I'll return year after year until I get these shots. It has to be up there with one of the most inspiring locations that I've ever photographed and I cannot wait to return. Well, that's us back at the digs, ah, back at Hoffen. Um, I've been out and about today, the weather has not been great. <laughs> it's been absolutely torrential rain, high winds all day again. Um, and just when we thought it was all going to go pear-shaped, and our second day wasted, um, we decided just to take the risk and head down, down to Stock's Nest. Excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it right. Down the Stocks Ness, um, you've got the Vestral Horn Mountains in the background. That was the whole point of actually coming here. And luckily, the weather was in our favour and the rain stopped. And it was just absolutely incredible. I've got a new celebratory Jack Daniels and some <laughs> lovely, your finest china. And we're going to head back out later on. Again, it's to be cloudy. Um, weather, weather not looking that good. A bit of rain, a bit of cloud. But above the cloud there's a KP4 Aurora, which is absolutely great. So we've got to go out and risk it again. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Over and out. Of steaming up, man, because I came in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get any worse, man. No? <laughs> Feed the horses! Feed the horses! Try 
aja Pak Jogir. Ah, ya. Ya.